Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of muscles of the abdomen. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. All the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall serve to protect the viscera by their contraction to produce movement and to increase the intra-abdominal pressure as in defecation, cuffing and parturition. Starting with the first abdominal muscle, the external oblique. The muscle originates from the outer surfaces of the lower eight ribs and gets inserted into the iliac crest and the pubic tubercle. The action of the muscle is flexion of the spine, side flexion and rotation of the trunk. The right external oblique produces rotation to the left. Let's have a look. As you can see, these are the ribs. And these are the points of origin, the outer surfaces of the lower eight ribs. This is the point of insertion, the iliac crest. This muscle is the external oblique muscle. Next abdominal muscle is the internal oblique. The muscle originates from the thoracolumbar fascia, the iliac crest and the lateral half of the inguinal ligament and gets inserted into an aponeurosis which is attached to the costal margin and at the linea semilunaris the aponeurosis is divided into anterior and posterior layers thus contributing to the rectus sheath. The action of the muscle is flexion of the spine, side flexion and rotation of the trunk. The right internal oblique produces rotation to the right. Let's have a look. The points of origin are the thoracolumbar fascia, iliac crest and lateral half of inguinal ligament. And this is the point of insertion, the ribs 10 to 12th. This muscle is the internal oblique muscle. Our next muscle is the transversus abdominis. This muscle originates from the inguinal ligament, costal cartilages 7 to 12th, the iliac crest and the thoracolumbar fascia and gets inserted into the conjoint tendon, xiphoid process, linea alba and the pubic crest. The action of the muscle is compression of abdominal contents. Let's have a look. As you can see, this is the transversus abdominis muscle. Recall the points of origin and insertion and try to find them in this image. You can't see the thoracolumbar fascia or the linea alba. Pause the video if you want. So here is the answer. Last muscle for this video is the rectus abdominis. It originates from the crest of pubis and pubic tubercle and gets inserted into the xiphoid process of the sternum and the costal cartilages of rib 5th to 7th. The muscle is enclosed in the rectus sheath, a strong flexor of the trunk and it can also tilt the pelvis backwards. Let's have a look. This is the point of origin, the pubic tubercle. These are the points of insertion, the costal cartilages and the xiphoid process of the sternum. These white lines which you can see are the tendinous intersections. This muscle is the rectus abdominis. So that is it for this video guys, we will cover the rest of the muscles in the upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.